They're brave, they're tough, they are the Scott Squad. The head of any major organization needs to be a mountaineer capable of scaling a Matterhorn of information. Chief Commissioner Cameron Meekelson has his finger on the figures, his digit on the data, his stamp on the statistics. Crime. That's a crime. You measure, it's like a horse with so many hands high. We kind of, that's how we do it. You're hoping to keep major crimes less than a finger. You'd be hoping that uh, murders, currently we're, we're two fingers. That's your murders, we're, we're hoping to get that down. Drug crimes, you know, minor drug crimes, just having a wee doobie, that kind of stuff. You, you know, you're expecting a couple of hands worth there. Treason, that's is hardly, you'd be a fingernail worth in treason. If you're anything beyond that, then you're really, you are not doing your job. Crimes, that car theft, then you're into big statistics, and then you've really got to be using the whole, the whole of the arm, so that would probably be your... Up to there would be, would be crimes against the car. But it's a lot of work, and someone's got to do it, and that someone's me. But the most important number for the police will always be oh, 999. Oh. City partners McLaren and Fletcher are hot on the trail of a major tip-off. A suspicious individual with a beard is holding a holdall and acting well dodgy in a nice neighbourhood. Hey, the keys. Suddenly, their day gets a lot more interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never touched him. We is it? No, he's talking. He's talking to you, okay? We turkey. We turkey. We turkey. Is there a wee turkey in the bag? There's no like he's on drugs. There's no foaming or anything. They move quickly to get the scoop on this mysterious miscreant. We now have to search your bag, sir, okay? Come on, hurry up, get in. Right, uh, hurry up. Need to... you... No, check your bag. Jesus. Wee turkey. This is huge. This is big for us. <laughs> right, let's go. Discovery in the whole doll. Was drugs. Was a massive, massive amount of um, gin, drugs, barley powder, yeah, coke, cocaine, or... Co cocaine. Aye. Wee turkey. Where are we going now? We've just got a big yeah. turkey. What's your name? We turkey. We turkey. <laughs> we turkey. Have you, have you not been told about we turkey? Cameron, the chief. Ring Cameron up. I'm doing an undercover operation here. You're telling us you're undercover. My name is We Turkey. That's my drug name. You don't have to tell me. AKA Jermaine. AKA. Jermaine, is Jermaine your real name? No, Jermaine's my drug name. AKA David Nicholson. I'll just come and sit down beside you if that's okay. You're going to be in big trouble if Cameron finds you. Oh, really? Ring him up. I'm just going to take these names. Ring him up! You shout like that. Bring him up! Stop shouting at me. Tell at least, can we please drive away from here? So we've got Wee Turkey and David Nicholson. Yes. You're from Glasgow. No, I'm from, from Belfast. Belfast. I was stationed, stationed in LA. Yeah. When I'm here in Glasgow, I do when I'm doing a deal, I do a Glasgow accent. So that's a genuine Belfast accent? Yes, sir. It doesn't sound it. What, what do you think a Belfast accent sounds like then? It'd be, it'd be like, like that. I'm from Belfast. OK, that's good. Can I take this call? Do I have your permission to take, take it? Thing? Take it. All right, Biggin, what's happening? All right, OK, I'll be round in a sec, all right? Give me two secs, all right? Cheers, Biggin. All right. That is brilliant. Thank you. I'm not going to lie, that's very convincing. Let, let me do this one bust, and then if you're not convinced, you can arrest me. I think so. Shall we? Let's go, OK? Thank you. You've got our trust. Thank you. You've got our trust, OK? The force is dependent on the work of civilian staff like IT expert Samson Katimo. I can see the suspect. Stop. Put your hands up. Who tops the team that tentatively tests trial technology. What I have here is an IE retina scanner, which pretty much, instead of putting passwords and, you know, login details, so all we need to do is pretty much just put your eyes here and get scanned like this. It's too bright. 
Timo's pioneering programming prowess permits police people to pacily and punctually appease the apprehensive public. The Scottish Police Force is a very forward-thinking organisation. We are keen to embrace technology in all its forms. We're currently trialling a system whereby our clients can call in to us via a video messaging service. Officer Karen, can you hear me? I want, I want to say, put in a complaint about where's the bin, man. Bo Bobby, Bobby, you need, you need to go a wee bit further back from your webcam. I can see right up your nose at the moment, further away Play from the camera. Can you see my face now? It's mostly just your buttons I can see from that. Well, there, yeah, I can. Now, you're not going to get a sore back standing like that, like, Bobby? Yeah, right. My back's a wee bit sore, aye, Officer Karen. Aye, it's a bit sore. Maybe, maybe, I'm maybe not do that. Like this, right? right, okay. What, what can I do for you, Bobby? What it is is the bin man's no came and the rubbish is all out on the pavement. I was just wondering if I could put in a complaint about the bin man, please. We don't have anything to do with the bins. You really need to speak to the council about that. Oh, well, what am I going to do because I'm going out tonight? I see you've gone to a bit of an effort to, to yeah, get... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the Trolley Boys Ball tonight. Do you, do you like it? It's definitely a look, Bobby. This is brilliant, isn't it? Bobby, it's, it's, it's genuinely making my eyes cross a wee bit when you come that close. Can you go a wee bit further away from the camera? There we go. Like there that. he is. Yep. Right, I really need to get back to work, Bobby. I'm really busy. Right, OK, I'll see you later, right, Officer Karen, and I'll tell you how it goes. OK, see you later, Bobby. Right, I'll see you later, Bye. Officer Karen. Bye. <laughs> Online and on the end of the line, call worker Maggie LeBeau is the linchpin that links the problem-ridden public. You're calling to report the sighting of zombies. To the problem-solving police. If you are going to call in, just be careful you're not going to commit a crime yourself. People often don't think of this, but say, for example, you're driving your car, you see someone drive past, they've got an out-of-date tax disc terrible. However, don't call when you're behind the wheel because then you are breaking the law. It's not black and white though. I mean, if you're being chased by an axe-wielding maniac, it's probably okay not to put your seatbelt on. If there's an officer around, ask them first, you know, or maybe, maybe check the website. But just be careful. Report the crime, don't be the crime. Back on the street, McLaren and Fletcher are dropping off their undercover colleague for a drop-off of his own. If you are longer than 45 minutes, well, I'll kick the door down. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'm on my way. All right, cheers, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> That's good. It's a sting operation, so we're there, we're involved, we're helping basically transport and back up kind of honours. How are you going to sit when he comes back? Because huh? I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna set the same view. I'll sit like this. Out. Get my foot up somewhere like that. It is. Worcester turkey. Right. Move it, move it. Come, Come on, let's go. go. Let's go. Safety first, turkey belt. No, we're going, oh, we're gonna die. I'm gone. 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 I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. From a speedy getaway to those trying to get away with speeding, the Scott Squad are streetwise. I've got a nickname for this in here, oh I. He hates it, but he's a machine. That's why I call him the machine. Have you heard of the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Yeah. Well, that is broke, so fix it. And he's yeah. full of these things, so yes. <laughs> OK. Brilliant. I call him PC Hugh McCurdy. It's a bit boring, man. I'd love a nickname. I'd love a nickname. What is that? Look at that. What is that? You kidding me on? I'm sure you don't like my puff, are you? Pull over. Pull over. Aye. Aye. On a routine patrol, singing McCurdy spy a vehicle with too, too many wheels thanks to two knuckleheads. What's going on here? You don't know how fair. You're dafty. What's wrong with it? Right, what do you mean what's wrong with it? Go to the cost switch, stand enough and come out of the pavement. You, down. Get, get out of here, come on. You're doing half a ring, you? King Kong! Stop breaking any rules, I don't see what the problem is. Do you don't see what the problem is? He's not wearing a helmet for a start. He's got his hood up. He's got his hood up. I've never seen a guy 
own a bike and tap a roof before. I've seen boats and tap a trucks and trucks and tap a boats, but I've never seen a geezer on a bike and tap a motor, have we, Sergi? It's the same premise, essentially. No. What's his name? Lance. Lance? Lance. Well, he's not going to win the Tour de France on that, is he? Or he might get done for cheating. Like he was with doping. I mean, he's high enough, isn't he? I don't get it, Lance. Armstrong. <laughs> He'll not be the first man in the moon to beat you anyway, you're doing that, will he? <laughs> Just come down off the car. Lance. If I have to tell you once, I'll tell you a hundred times. Get down off that car before I come up there. What law is this? What was this? Aye. It's to get them done, get them done. It's a grey area because, I mean, people are allowed to sit upstairs and tap a double-decker bus, so you've got to take that into consideration, the law and... Yeah, but in a double-decker bus, you know, people are caged in, so... You know, Aye, but in an open-top bus. Aye, it's a grey area. Right, we're going to take you to the back of the police motor and you get done, right? Come down, we'll get this sorted. The driver refuses to take the rider off the car. Keep holding tight, Lance. Get in the car. So he's getting three points on doing, his licence. In a modern Scotland, keeping the streets safe is still the number one priority. Excuse me, sir, just yep. For volunteer officer Ken Beatty, that means embracing the very latest in crime-fighting technology. Yes, your observation skills are correct. I have a state-of-the-art camera that I have been personally issued with. You know, this is very exciting. Basically, it records everything that I see. So it's like a Hawkeye. You know, you get like tennis and stuff, a Hawkeye. So this is the Ken Eye. The Ken BTI. Oh, what are you doing? Yep, not bad, thank you. Oh, what's that? Action. What? Okay, calm down. No, I will give you a fine for littering. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to pick up that dog excellent. You trying to blackmail me? What? Yeah, I look like shoplifter. Well, you're blackmailing no, me. I'm not blackmailing you, sir. Yeah. Uh, fine, fine, fine. You're getting a fine. Oh, I like that. That's, that's my friend, isn't it? Who the f you think you're talking to, you f***ing w***er? I think you stole my what? Pardon? You stole my what? Sir, please. You pick up. But, uh, Get lost. You can buy your hair if it won't grow. You can fix your nose if you said so. Just get 60 quid, don't you? You owe me 60 quid. What? You're not even a real f***ing police when you're c***ing. You can buy all the makeup that Mac can make. That's you. You've got this. It's like my new friend. He's my best friend. It's nice to have a friend. OK, Gene, that's me away at the slogan meeting, OK? I'll, um... I'll get you after... Ah, oh, God, we've gone... The computer's gone Hungarian again. Ah. Oh. So, I've been charged with uh, selecting a new slogan for the police force, the Unified Scottish Police Force. Safety first, us second, I think is quite good, because that gives us, you know, that very much that you, you come before, we, we're there for you. And, well, that's just... Whoever came up with that is just going to... I think there's still work to be done, personally. You know, we're looking for this generation's clunk click, which was an absolutely fabulous um, campaign. We'll probably be going with, we're there so you don't have to be there. It's got to be, we're there so you don't have to be. I think that there, that one there is redundant. But it turns out there's an inherent problem there because you do have to be there. You call us out, there's, we turn up, you've gone, then who's, no one's winning there. So we're going to have a rethink there. I'm not quite sure what it will be. We're there, you better be as well. We're there, where are you? We've got about seven or eight of the words that I think are going to work. We just need to get an order and a sense. We're hoping ultimately to have something that makes sense. News of a big barnyard break-in reaches McIntosh and Mackay. The rural enforcers get the story from an aggrieved agriculturalist. Hello, hello, come, come on in. Thank you. I'm Murphy Williams. PC Mackay. Thanks for coming, it's such short notice. Hello, there, Officer McIntosh. Hello, Ma Mr. McIntosh. Come on in. No, uh, can I get, I'm just at my dinner. You want to, I've got some chicken soup on the go. No, Do honestly. You know, I've got a big pot of it, Ken. Absolutely fine, no, not, not what we're We've just eaten, thank you. Yeah. Hi, uh, hi, good, good. We've got a call uh, about a chicken, is it? Hi, hi, hi. What can you tell That's us? That's me. A hellish bud go this morning. My prize chicken, and she won hen of the year hen last the year. year. She was there last night and I checked them all, but she's a war new, Ken. Uh, what can you tell us about the chicken that's got uh, on this? Oh, well, your scarlet. Uh, yes, Johansen, Johansen is her name. Can you describe it? Red feathers. Red feathers. 
skinny legs, skinny legs. Uh, the beak. Beak, uh, yeah. Kind of right about here, kind of around about there. Just kind of, the, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, when did you notice her missing? And I came in about the yard last night. Uh, I was just out with the boys at the, the Muck Spreaders Association uh, Cheese and Wine fundraiser. And I just put the chickens into a coop there. Oh, right. And what time was that about, roughly? Uh, about the bark at 11. Oh, aye, 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 aye. And so you didn't hear anything unusual through the night? No, not a thing. I'm a deep sleeper, you see. Deep sleeper. And have you ever had chickens go missing before? Oh, on a regular basis. I, so I think it's a cat. You see, the, kind of, the big black cat. Aye, oh, the beast. You've been to hear the you, beast. The oh, big aye. black... You're I'm that, Father you. Williams? <laughs> well, obviously I really want to say, well, but aye, oh, that's... You, a local that's, legend. That's I've read me. about you. Aye, oh, oh, well, course. you can. Having heard firsthand the terrifying tales of the beast stalking the hills, the officers take a walk up to the coop to look for evidence of a feline felony. Oh, that's taken apart. It could have been a big cat right enough. Because you'd, you'd come in and, and rip. It's amazing the stories as well, you know, they say it could be a panther, jaguar, cougar, anything, big bear. Well, I've heard. <sighs> Certainly getting there. Tasty chickens. You been around chickens a lot? I've spent a good deal around uh, chickens. Oh, yeah? My uh, grandfather used to use them to train me to have quick feet. He'd actually sellotape some of the feed to my toes and they'd come after me and I'd have to... Just run. ...move when they were, they were going for it, so... But it made me nimble. Aye. Back on the oh. drug run. I will f kill you! <coughs> going deeper undercover. Hello? Hi, baby. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all walking, baby. I'll make a move for you, baby. As things heat up, the cops pull up for a crucial pickup. Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. I have a surprise. Okay. Mm. Open them. Oh, oh. cheers, man. Oh, that's Peace. Tea. Peace. <laughs> I haven't seen more. Ah, well, it's not as dangerous as like you would think undercover, eh? I'm not sure you danger. I'm not. Put your hands up. Put your hands up! Put your hands up, Jack. Put Honestly. your hands up. OK, give me all your money. Oh my God. Give me all your money! Oh my God. Give me all your money, man! I swear I'm going to blow your brains out! There's <laughs> a banana. I fooled you. I know who I am. Wasn't a gun. You thought Do it to me. Yeah. No. There's no point because you know it's a banana. But like, okay, okay. Julie, you use. Come here! Yeah, it's still scared you. You see, you're not built for this. Show me what you can do with this. You know what I mean. Use it as a piece. Like that's right, a piece. Good. Blow her brains out with that gun. I'll go like this. Is a She's a pimp. Okay. Life or death. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> okay. I didn't even hear it coming. Like okay. it was a silencer. Pew, 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 pew. Now for shot. Rubbish. That was quick. You've left safety on. What? Got you! See? I know, hand off a piece. Give it here, I'm getting hungry. That's right, this here. is because this is the end, right? I just want to eat it. Just want to eat it. I'll eat my it's banana. Gun. Thank you. Right, let's go. No, we go when I say go. Oh. We go when I say go. Right. OK, so go. There's a few differences uh, between the Scottish legal system and the rest of the world. We have not proven in the verdict as one of the potential verdicts. There's guilty, there's not guilty, and there's not proven, and we're the only nation with that. And I think a nation should be judged by its justice system. And I think the not proven is a, is a, is a, is a very valuable plank in the justice system. Because basically guilty, fine, we've got you, by the way. It's not guilty, there's nothing on you. Not proven, <laughs> we know. We know, but we just can't prove it this time. <laughs> So that's what we're saying uh, with, with not proven, you know. We're saying, fair play, fair play, mate. You pulled the wool over our eyes this time, but we'll be back, right, on your way. What other country? What other country does that? Some countries just have guilty. You've got North Korea, you've got nothing but guilty, that's it. You know, we've got three, three choices. One thing proven is that lamppost posters are a pest for PC Surgeot Singh. Well, recently what we've seen is an increase in people using these lampposts as advertising space. And obviously this is council property, so we have to go around taking these signs down. Some of these advertisements are terrible. I mean, 
Look at that one there. Wasps exterminated for £25. Is that per wasp? Exterminated per wasp? Could you imagine how much a foul nest costs? Another one here. But sexy singles night for ages 25 to 55. 25 to 55? I was only one there under 50. Slimming Club come in every Monday, ran by Avon. Have you seen the Nicky Avon? One thing she shouldn't have been doing is running a slimming club. She's enormous. But these fly posters can still trap the unwary. What are you, Officer Cardin? Hiya, Bobby. What can I do for you today? Uh, I've got a few things to say to you. It's a wee bit embarrassing. OK. You know how when you cross the lights at the street and you see, like, signs on the lamppost? Uh -huh. I seen an ad and it was for a colonic interrogation and I thought I would phone it and see what it was. Do you mean a colonic irrigation? I, uh, yeah, that. Because the next thing I knew, I was in this woman's garage. You know how, like, in your office and stuff, you've got that big tub of water? And she was like, it was going all the way into my bum. You do know that is basically what a colonic irrigation is. It's um, inserting a, a, a tube and then flushing out someone's, someone's back passage with water. Really? Yeah. I, I never knew that. You should have seen the, the stuff that was coming out. I mean, bits of carpet were coming out. And, like, a bit, I'm sure a bit of Lego came out as well. Right. Don't get me wrong, I feel brilliant after it. It was just I thought I was going to get an Indian head massage and she stuck a tube up my bum. Technically, I don't think any crime has been committed here. There's nothing illegal about carrying out clonic irrigations, to the best of my knowledge. To be honest with you, it's really, really good. I feel brilliant after it. Do you feel lighter? I feel a lot lighter. Oh, really? uh, my, my trousers are actually a wee bit baggy, even though my bum's so. No. Right, well, I'll, I'll go now. Right, I'll see you later, Bobby. Right, OK, I'll see you later. Right, Officer Karen. I'll Mind how you go. Yep, yeah, I'll see you next time, right? Maybe take your time. I'll just take my time this right. time. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I've been very impressed by how you've both been today. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And it's been lovely. Drug deal done. It's time for this turkey to fly off into the sunset. McLaren and Fletcher share an emotional goodbye. Two days later, a gentleman, wee turkey, actually was arrested, um, as his name is Nico Davidson. He, he is a, a genuine mink, a, a drug dealer, a proper drug dealer, and uh, he's not unco undercover at all, um, as we found out. So, go on. I don't feel foolish. I don't. I certainly don't feel foolish. I feel like, you know, things like that, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, you know? It never nearly killed me, obviously. Um, but I'm still a bit stronger for it. What about you? I feel foolish. Nightfall and the fearless cops return to the farm, eyes peeled for the fabled furry fiend. Oh boy. Steak out. Steak out. I think it's quite exciting. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oof. Anything might pop up or well, yeah. pop out or... <laughs> I mean, they're not all bad cats. I mean, I think some cats are great. A lot of famous cats out there. Yeah. Garfield. Garfield's a good one. Yeah. Simba. Simba. That was in my favourite oh, movie. Oh. I'm gonna be a mighty king, so enemies beware. I've never seen such a king of beasts with no such little hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that's magical. That is magical. I am more of a dog person, really. I really want one of those little pug dogs, you know, the ones with the squished faces. Yeah, yeah, I think they look so cute. They're just like, oh, yeah. just like a little baby squishy pug thing. I, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just want loved. Mm. I think that's it. I can know the feeling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait a second. I don't see anything. <laughs> oh. Is there something moving? Did you see? Did you see? I think I saw something. Oh, oh okay. Shh, okay. Shh, 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 shh. I'll go. I'll no, go. no, no, Jane. You stay here. I want you to be safe, okay? I need someone here to, to call in the backup. We don't know what we're dealing with. I could come with you. No, please, Jane. I don't want you to be savaged in the night. That's my job. Okay. Stay here and just. Thanks, Charlie. Wish me luck. Good luck. Yeah, 
Kitty. Here, pussy, pussy, pussy. Pussy, pussy. Ah! Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Here's a good cat. That's a good cat. Here. Ah! Hey, whoa. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 what is that? What is that? No, no, we, we need to go. I, we need to leave we right could now. Go. There's something out there, Jane. I saw it and did over there by the tree. Yeah. Did you see the size of it? Yeah, it was oh. pretty massive. I have to get going. Yeah. I did freak out a little bit. I spooked myself, wasn't very professional. We got back into the car as quick as we could. We thought we should get straight down to the farm house and, and tell Farmer Williams what we'd seen. <sighs> just try it, just see if it's open. That'll be fine, just... Uh, yeah, just go in. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's exactly what I saw up there. Looked right at me. Yeah, I, I can't believe we've seen this. We'll probably be some kind of reward or something. <laughs> oh, hey, get back! Stay with you! Oh, shit. In comes the cat. The big cat itself into the room. But it wasn't a big cat. It was... Farmer, Farmer Williams. Williams. Do you know I what we just play. went through? Long story. Well, it better be a long, good story. He'd been wearing a big cat costume to pretend that there'd been this big cat and that would generate interest from tourists and people that had heard the story to come and buy the merchandise. What to carry on. I hope you're happy with yourself. Not because really, no. nobody else is. No. Nobody likes a bad cat. No. You've left us with no other choice. We're going to have to take you down the station. You're joking. We're going to have to. Yeah, I'm, not you I'm not getting caged up like one of my chickens. We're taking you down the station. Yeah. Get a glass of milk before I go. No, no you can't. can't. Get a glass yeah, of milk. Yeah. Fit a bit of chickens. Eh? Fit it. I've got to go feed the chickens. No. Hey. Kirsten! Hey. hey. Kirsten Dunn. Hey. Ready, Zellweger. In the back. Sorry. Keep it down. That was one cat that just didn't get the cream. He got arrested. Morality is a difficult one, yeah. I mean, is it wrong to steal a loaf of bread to feed a starving child? Well, yes, actually. It is by the letter of the law. Is it right to close down a factory? In this country, lots of people lose their jobs, it opens in the Far East, you make a sweatshop and you make more profits. Well, maybe morally that, that's wrong, but legally, on you go. We're not, we're not going to stand in your way, do you? You fill your boots. Morals are... are are best left to those who feel self-appointed to police morality. Leave morals to Bono, Lenny Henry, and Philip Schofield, and all that lot. Ours is not to reason why. Ours is to get in the back of the van. No matter the crime, no matter the location, the Scott Squad are there.